Stop right there. This isn't even a Harrier. It's the Hawker Sidley Kestrel FGA-1. It was used to develop vertical takeoff and landing techniques during the 1950s. The Kestrel was part of the tripartite evaluation squadron at RAF West Raynham, which involved pilots from the US, UK and West Germany. The project was so successful that it led to the Harrier taking its first flight just one year after trials were concluded. It was developed from the P-1127 and was powered by the Bristol Sidley Pegasus vectored thrust engine, which allowed the aircraft to direct its thrust in a number of directions. Only a small number of Kestrels were built as the primary purpose of the aircraft was for evaluation and testing. It featured a distinctive tandem landing gear configuration with outriggers which provided extra stability during vertical operations. The square hole in the tail allowed the pilot to control the aircraft in yaw while hovering. Similar outlets were fitted to the nose and the wingtips of the aircraft to control it in pitch and roll. The Western Allies were worried that their airfields would be bombed during the Cold War so the Kestrel and Harrier were designed to operate from unprepared strips that didn't have runways.